Who will curate the voices of black millennials? With little diversity in urban content, Blavity has arrived to redefine that. In this installment of The Biz Plan, we speak with co-founder Morgan Devon as she explains the motives behind her platform. always been an entrepreneur and a hustler. I was the little sister that would charge my brother a 5% interest loan when I was like 10. And um, yeah, I started investing when I was about 14, 13. My dad and I used to have little competitions about who could get the most returns in a certain amount of time. And um, we've kept that up until this day. He'll send me a text like, that Apple stock though. And I'm like, I know. So um, it's always been a part of who I am, trying to figure out how do you turn a dollar into a dollar 25. My first business was when I was in middle school. I would take Kool-Aid and sugar and make uh, little origami packages and sell those for 25 cents in school. Actually, I got in trouble because you're not allowed to sell stuff at school. Um, but that was probably like the first time where I was like, okay, if there's a need, we didn't have candy in the vending machines, and so I'm just gonna sell this um, during the day. Entrepreneurship has always been about solving people's problems and delighting people, right? And I've always focused on solving problems that my friends have or that I have. So whether that is the Kool-Aid um, sugar example to a beauty blog that my, my girlfriends and I started right out of college called Beauty is Color, where we created content for women of color. We didn't feel like there was a lot of, of beauty blogs that focused on having that diversity and that nuance of, oh, I've got curly hair, one of my best friends is Cuban, Puerto Rican, another friend is Sudanese. And so we decided, hey, like let's just make this stuff ourselves. We already put on makeup. Creation and solving people's problems has just been part of my, my daily thought process. The word blavity comes from black gravity. So when I went to undergrad, I went to school at Washington University in St. Louis, which is a PWI, a primarily white institution. And But if you, you went to Washington and you went on a campus tour, you wouldn't necessarily know that because the community does such a great job of being diverse and showcasing that diversity. And when I you know, went to school there, I felt really connected to my community. And there's this term called blavity, where at lunch, you would, you'd sit down, you know, we had this big cafeteria, all this, the tables are rectangle. We had this one round table in the middle, um, which was, of course, the black table, right? And so we would always sit there, and I would sit there for hours, literally, and we would talk about everything about critical race theory to what happened last night, what the alphas do this weekend. Um, and it was just a place to connect. You had all different classes and everybody was welcomed. You know, you could sit there every day, you could sit there once a month and it didn't really matter and no one passed judgment. And um, it was a place where I met all of my closest girlfriends and I think really developed a sense of, of self and identity. Blavity at, at its core is about culture and connecting technology with that culture and so we started it because um, I felt like media representation and current content on today's networks doesn't actually reflect how I live my life and how my friends live, live their lives and we wanted to elevate that conversation and empower creators and influencers who are making like dope stuff but perhaps don't have the platform to distribute that content. If I really wanted to make money I would make a website that was the best twerk videos easy and we would have millions of hits every single day. That's not what I wanted to do and I don't think that that's the mission behind entrepreneurship and innovation, right? It's to improve people's lives, it's to make things more seamless and it's to push the boundaries of what already exists today. Um, and so that's what we're trying to do with Blavity and so far it's been great, it's been well received. People identify with the brand, they are actively helping us create content, promote content, promote each other, we're building community online and off and it's been an amazing feeling, I think, to, to have something that's positive and to see other people kind of joining the, the bandwagon on that. As a black woman in the technology industry and in Silicon Valley, I mean, I'm a double minority, right? There's not a lot of women and there's not a lot of, of black people. And it's been interesting. It's also been um, kind of fun because I have a chance to make a difference and I have a chance to be one of the first. And with that opportunity comes a lot of, of, a lot of pressure and I think just part of the game. I think every entrepreneur and every founder has their own challenges and their own kind of emotional, mental stress that they have to deal with. And for me, I try to focus more on, on my team. I try to focus on our product, delivering 
a product to a group of users that other people have ignored, despite the fact that we're huge consumers of content, we're influencers of culture, and we're enormous consumers of just technology and early adopters of technology like Twitter and Vine. Um, that's where I try to spend a lot of my energy. I'm Morgan Devon, and this is my biz plan.